Hi, this is Shannon from UEN. I'm just going to show you quickly how to use an app called ThingLink. In the new iOS 11, they add frequently used or recently used apps to your dock at the bottom of your screen. So if you notice, in the bottom right corner, there's my ThingLink app. It has the music note and the heart. Um, it's colorful. I don't usually have that on my dock, but because I've had it open recently, it's right there. So I'm going to click on it to access it. When I open up Thing, my ThingLink app, it shows me my library of ThingLinks that I've already created. To create a new one, I click on the plus button. Now it asks me if I want to choose from my photo library or from my camera, because ThingLink is all about still images. I'm going to choose camera for this, and I'm going to take a picture of a few markers here. Now the lighting is not great, but I'm going to go ahead and click on these markers, take a picture of them. Now, it asks me if I want to use the photo or retake it. I'm going to go ahead and use it. And think, this, these markers aren't a big deal, but think of what's going on in your classroom that would be interesting to film and then make interactive like we're about to do, um, whether it's a science experiment or math or even if it is a poster in the classroom where you uh, took a paragraph and marked important elements of it. If they took a picture of that poster, they then could add interactivity. So there's lots of things you can do with ThingLink. Whenever you take a picture, it's always going to add this target in the top corner telling you when the image was taken. And I want to get rid of that, so I'm going to click on the pencil in the top left corner. I'm going to click on delete and then delete again. Now to add, essentially what they are is hyperlinks to anywhere on the screen. I'm just going to click once on my pink marker. It asks me, do you want to add text or media? For now, I'm going to add text. And here I can just type, this color is dark pink to me. And I'm sure some of you are looking at this and you actually know the real color. Uh, I've never been great at knowing color names. but So now I have text associated with that. So anyone else looking at this image, they could click on that target and they would get this text box that would pop up. Now on this one, let's say I want to add media. It gives me a few different options. At the bottom, I'm going to add from YouTube. So let's say that marker is color, or that marker is purple. So let's say the color purple, which is a musical and maybe I can use the trailer of the color purple if that related to what I was doing. So you see right here, I can click on the, let me go back to that. There's the blue edit, uh, pencil edit button. If I click on that, I then could add a caption if I wanted to, to go along with the video, maybe giving some additional information. This also is where I could delete this if I uh, wanted to, but I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. On the orange one, when I click on it, and if I add the media, I could choose from gallery. And this will look at images that I've already taken. Let's go to panoramas and let's choose this image. Now, right now, it's just a, a landscape panorama. But if I click on that blue edit button, I can then add a caption that says the dirt in this image is orange, period and I click anywhere outside of the box to close it. And if I want to double check and make sure that caption actually stuck, then I just click on my link that I put in, and then I can see that that, uh, that caption stayed. And if I click on the image, it'll take me to a preview screen that's larger. And I think if I turn this way, yeah, so I can even change the orientation so I can see it a little bit bigger. And I can pinch to zoom. So if you share pictures with your students, this is a great way for them to view them. Once I'm done, I click Next. Then I can add a title. I like to keep it unlisted on thinglink.com. I like to keep that toggle in the bo bottom right corner turned on. Um, just, it feels more secure. And then I click Save. Now it's in my library. There's a blue kind of uploading box in the bottom corner. Then it goes green check mark. Then I can click on it. Once I click on it, it gives me options at the bottom. This is where I can delete it if I want to totally get rid of it, but I want to share it. So I'm going to click on the rectangle with the arrow, and it gives me my options of what I can do with it to share this to different places. It essentially is a link, so it would take someone to a website with this image up, 
with the links up and they'd be able to click on those links and see the content that you you had your students attach so really great way to share one image but have it full of great content